Sooner or later, it'll be time to change the strings on your guitar. In this session, we'll pass along some handy hints to make the job easier and to help you get the best performance from your instrument. Now I'd like to share with you a really great way of tying your strings to the machine head posts. If you do it like this, you'll spend more time playing the guitar and less time tuning it. At this stage, I haven't cut the string. You'll notice they give you a lot of extra string length, and it's a good idea to just change one string at a time. That way, you'll be able to keep the tension on the neck of the guitar, and you won't have any trouble with the neck warping. So I'm taking the string, and I'm threading it through the machine head post. Just threading it all the way through. And I want to leave enough slack in the string to make a fist. I just want to make a fist underneath the string, and that'll give me a rough idea of how much slack I need. OK. Now, here's the trick. If I take the string and come back around underneath the string, I'll just do that again. I've got the string. I haven't cut it yet. I'm coming back under itself. And now, what I'm going to do is pull that string now up tight against the post. Now, why I'm doing that is that when I start winding the string around, it will have locked itself against the post. I still haven't cut the string, and I won't cut the string until I've got it right up to pitch. The idea is, particularly on the wound strings, that if I cut the string, the outside winding will fray. And I don't want it to fray all the way down the string length. If it does fray, it'll only fray down to the point where the string is locked against itself on the string post. Let's take a close look at what I've done. Let's run through that process again. Because I'm restringing string 6, notice how I'm bringing the string on the inside of the post. I've threaded the string through the post, and now I'm going around and under the string. So I've went on the underside of the string. I'm now pulling the string up tight so it's locking against the machine head post. When I start winding the string on, you'll see that the string is locking itself against the machine head post. This means when I cut the string here, it will only fray down to this point of the string. Now, as I'm winding the string on, I'm keeping my thumb on the string because I want the string to wind down to the front of the head of the guitar. I'll get about two or three winds, and that's all I need. 